गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर फोर्टीन फैक्ट्राइजेशन से साइड फोर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन यू कैन सी हियर एक्स स्क्वायर इन प्लस ए प्लस वन बाई ए इंटू एक्स प्लस वन वी नीड टू फाइंड फैक्ट्राइज दिस आल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन ओके so how we find its factorization let's see so first you open this bracket and then you write x square plus here you apply the distributive law of multiplication over addition so what is the distributive law of multiplication over addition you can see a plus b into c this is equal to This is formed like this: a into c plus b into c. This property is called distributive law of multiplication over addition. So, according to this, we can write it: a into x plus one by a into x. And here, plus one, we write as it is. This is clear. Now, after this, we grouping it. After this, we grouping it. We take two terms for group, uh, such that we take common uh, something in each group. So here we make it x square plus ax. This is first group, and one by a x plus one. This is your uh, second group. This is clear. Now, so uh, here, if you take calcium, you know very well what the calcium uh, a plus one upon a. This is equal to you can write it one plus a by a. So here we have uh, one x. By a, if you multiply them, you get one x by a plus one. So you get here x plus a by. A. This is clear. So I hope all of you understood this step. Now here we can write x square plus a x plus here. If you take LCM, then you get x plus a, x plus a upon a. This is clear. Now, in first bracket, what is common between them? Obviously, you can say x is common in first brackets. Okay. Uh, so, x square plus a x. Here, x is common. So, if you take common x, then we get here. x plus a now in second bracket what have come up you can see one by a is come between them x plus a this is clear now if uh, you have any uh, doubt any problem to take come in first bracket and second bracket you can express it as the unit product of irreducible of factors so let's see you can write x square this is equal to what this is equal to x into x and here a x is equal to a into x so a x you can uh, uh, express it as the product of irreducible factors and uh, this is x square you can also express it as the product of irreducible factors so you can see here x is common so after taking common x you get your x plus a this is clear now after this here what if we have common Here we have common x plus a. In both terms, you can see here this is x plus a. This is also x plus a. So x plus a has common in both terms. This is clear now. So if you take common in both terms, x plus a, you can say it becomes uh, x plus a into. Here we leave x after taking common x plus a. And here we have one by a. 
and this is the factor of x square plus a plus 1 of an a into x plus 1. Or you can write it uh, 1 by a x plus a into x plus a. This is clear. So at last you can write here x square plus factor of x square plus a plus 1 by a into x plus 1 is equal to 1 by a x plus a into x plus a. So then I hope all have understood these questions. Now we are going to discuss next questions. What have a uh, next questions? Next question I have uh, 36 a to the power 4 minus 97 a square b square plus 36 b to the power 4. So let's see how to solve uh, question number 6. I hope all have understood this question number 5. Okay, so first we read them, after this we discuss question number 6. And this is question number uh, 6, 36, a, a to the power 4 minus 97, a square, b square, plus uh, 36 36 into the power 4 okay this is given this is algebraic expression given we need to find its factors so how we find its factors you can see here 36 into the power 4 97 a square b square 36 into the power 4 this is trinomial so first we now first we break it split in middle terms and uh, write and then uh, group it so you can this is 97 you break this middle terms this is 97 so you can write it 36 a to the power 4 minus 81 a to the power 4 a to the power b uh, 2 and b to the power 2 minus 16 a to the power 2 into b to the power 2 plus 36 b to the power 4. This is here because you know very well minus 81 minus 16 this is equal to minus 97. As similarly you can say minus 81 a square b square minus 16 a square b square this is equal to what? 97 a square b square this is clear so uh, we will get this 97 a square b square in the terms of minus 81 a square b square uh, minus 16 a square b square this is clear now here you can see we have uh, at times 4 terms first 1 2 3 4 terms so first we make it in groups such that we take some common between in each groups okay so here this is 36 36 a to the power 4 minus 81 a square and b square okay we take common here this is clear now this is second groups last two terms we will take minus comma so here we have 16 a square b square plus so i guess will come minus after taking common plus this is clear now so it should become uh, plus uh, minus 36 b power 4 okay and now students uh, so here we take you can see here what is common between them Substitute you can say a square because here a power 4. a power 4 you can write this is equal to a square into a square. Okay. So this is a and here first we express it in this form. You can say here 36 a to the power 4. 36 a to the power 4. You can write it 9 into 4. 36 a square into a square. Clear? 
a square into a square is a, a to the power of 4. Now we have 81. 81 a square b square this is equal to what? 81 is equal to 9 into 9 into a square into b square. This is clear. Uh, so you can see here 9 is common between them and a square a square is common between them. So you can say 9 into a square is common between them. Or you can say 9 a is common between them. So here we take 9a as a common in first groups of both terms. So 9a square into in bracket we have in the first term you can say 4 into a. Uh, so 4a square is common minus in second terms we have 9 into b. So you can say 9 b square is common. So in first groups we take common 9 a square so we have 4 a square minus 9 b square after this in second groups what is the common name so in second groups you can write here 16 a square b square so 16 a square b square 16 a square b square so you can express 16 like this 4 into 9 4 into 4, 16. 4 into 4, 16 a square b square. 4 into 4 into a square into b square. 4 for 16 a square b square. Here now the fourth terms 36 b to the power 4. This is called you can write it uh, 4 into 9, 36 into b square into b square this is clear so you can see here what is the common between them obviously this first term 4 is common and here you can see b 4 b is common between them ok so 4 into b is 4 b so here we take 4 b as a common clear 4 b square so in bracket we have 4 a square 4 a square minus 9 b square because here 9 b is left after taking from 4 b square this is clear now so uh, also you can see here in both brackets what we have we have 4 a square minus 9 b 4 a square minus 9 b square so we can take common 4 a square minus 9 b square this is clear now so you can uh, write here uh, 4 a square minus 9 b square in first bracket after this after taking common 4 a square minus, minus 9 b squares we get here 9 a square minus 4 b square 9 a square minus 4 B square. This is clear. So, student, you can write here uh, 4 a square means you can write it 2 into a. 4 square of 2 a. This is first bracket. And 9 b square means you can write it 3 b square. Clear? Similarly, here you can also write uh, 3 a square. 9 a, 9 a square means you write it 3 a square. And uh, for B square is we write it 2B whole square. Okay. So student you can see here 2A square A square minus B square A minus A square minus B square. So if we get here we use the third identity. What is the third identity? Third identity is that A square minus B square. A square minus B square. This is equal to A plus B into a minus b. So here we apply this identity. So according to this identity, first we add them, after this we subtract them. This is clear now. So this becomes 2a plus 3b into 2a minus 3b. Now here in this part we also apply the third identity. This is a form of 
the difference of 2 square the difference of 2 square is sum of the number into the difference of the number so first write here sum of the number 3a plus 2b into 3a minus 2 this is here so student i hope all of you understood this question in this question this is given you can see 36 a to the power 4 minus 97 a square b square plus 36 b to the power 4 this is clear now so how we solve this question we apply first identity second identity but we are unable to solve this question okay so what to do here uh, for this uh, we break this middle terms in two equal part in two part like this 81 a square b square and 16 a square b square this is clear so after this we make it in group first two terms first group last two terms second group this is clear now after this we take common between first uh, first terms in two uh, first groups between two terms in first group so here you can see what have we common here 9a square is common between them so we take here 9a square and in this bracket we take common 4b square so after taking common we can see here 4a square minus 9b 4a square minus 9b is it the common between them so we take common 4a square minus 9b square so we get 9a square minus 4b square in first bracket we get 4a square minus 9b square in second bracket we get 9a square minus 4b square this is clear now after this 4a square we can write it to 2a whole square of 2a 9b square also we write it whole square of 3a so and here 9a square we can write it whole square of 3a this is 4b square we can write it whole square of 2b this is clear so after here you can see this is a difference of 2 square so we use the third identities here what is the third identity third identity a square minus b square is equal to 1 is equal to in first bracket a plus b into in second bracket a minus b so according to this identities we apply here it becomes whole square of 2a minus whole square of 3b is this is equal to 2a plus 3b into 2a minus 3b and in this bracket also we apply that identities identity number 3 so we get 3a plus 2b into 3a minus 2b so then in this way we solve this question so i hope all have understood this question now we are going to discuss next question question number seven what have in question number seven let's see first we read this question after this we solve next question question number seven so i hope all have understood this question now what have in question number seven let's see question number seven has to a square to x square minus root 3x plus or minus 3 okay we need to find its factors the question number seven is given 2x square minus root 3x minus 3 so in such questions we see a formula like this ax square plus bx plus c okay so in such questions first we find the product of constant terms and the coefficient of x square so here coefficient of x square is a now after this we find because this is positive and you can see here uh, this is a positive and negative here a positive here this is negative mark suppose ok 
Okay, so first to find the factors are these six C A. Factors C A such as that they are different. They are different in what? B product of uh, coefficient of x. Okay, so according to this question, you can see first you find here we use four factors x plus a into x plus b this is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b okay this is the constant term this is the coefficient of x so constant constant terms here 3 and the coefficient of x is here root 3 this is clear now <coughs> Uh, so here first you multiply between them 2 into 3 this is equal to 6 so here you can see 2 into 3 uh, 6 ok so product of also in the way 3 is equal to you can write root 3 into root 3 this is clear so here you can write it 6 into 2 into root 3 into root 3 this is clear now so 2 into root 3 is equal to what 2 into root 3 you can write it 2 root 3 only root 3 what only root 3 means 1 root 3 ok one is higher this is clear now so here we have 2 uh, root 3 into 1 root 3 you can write this is clear now so here and the you find the factor of 6 is 2 root 3 into 3 if we find their difference the difference is what 2 root 3 minus 1 root 3 this is equal to 1 root 3 or you can say only root 3 this is clear now so we can break this term uh, we can replace this term root 3 in the form of root to square minus we can take it to root 3 minus root 3 into x minus Clear now after this we multiply this x in this term and this term also. This property is called distributive law and distributive uh, law of multiplication over subtraction. Okay, so we can write it like this 2 x square minus 2 root 3x plus root 3x minus this is clear after this we group it first we we get something common 2x square 2 root 3 into x we can make it in first group and last two terms we take in second group root 3 x minus 3 this is clear now so in first group what are the Count between them, obviously we can say x, 2x, 2x is common between them. After taking common, you get here x minus root 3, x minus root 3 plus, what is the common between them? So you can say nothing, but root 3 is common between them. So here, we take common root 3 between them, then you get here x here. here you obtain root 3 after taking common root 3. Now you can see here x minus root 3, x minus root 3 is your label in both terms. So you can take common x minus root 3 in both terms, then we get 2x plus root 3. Okay, so here we take common x minus root 3. After taking common x minus root 3, we get here. 2x plus root 3. This is clear. So 
So student you can see here in this way you find the factors of 2x square minus root 3x minus 3 so this is equal to x minus root 3 into 2x plus root 3 this is clear so student I hope all of you understood these questions now we are going to discuss next question question number 8 let's see what I mean question number Okay. So first we read after this we write the question number eight. Question number eight here. Uh, here y into y square minus two y y square minus two y plus 2 into 2 into 2y minus y square and the next minus 2y plus y this is an algebraic expression this is given we need to find its factorization y into y square minus 2y plus 2 into 2 minus y square minus 2 minus plus y ठीक है तो इसलिए यू कैन सी हियर नाउ सो यू कैन राइट लाइक दिस हियर व्हाट वी हैव कॉमन इन बोथ टर्म्स यू कैन सी y इज कॉमन सो हियर y इज ऑलरेडी वी हैव वी टेक y कॉमन देन वी गेट हियर y माइनस 2 क्लियर आफ्टर दिस इन बोथ ब्रैकेट वी टेक कॉमन माइनस y so we have 2y here and here we have minus y minus 2. Clear? Now here we arrange, rearrange this then we get here 1 y minus 2. Again. Clear? You can see here y square minus 2y so here we take common y. This is clear? Now after this what are we here? y minus y square. So we take common here minus y square so we, we get here minus 2y into y minus 2 and here we take common one and we rearrange this then we get y minus 2 ok minus 2 clear now so you can take common here you can see here y minus 2 y minus 2 y minus 2 so you can take common y minus 2 in each term so here we have y into y this is equal to y square minus 2y plus 1. This is clear? Now, so here we have y minus 2 into uh, y square minus 2 y plus you can write it square 1. This is clear? Now, so which is the comma y minus 1, whole square of y minus 1. Here we can see y minus 2 into what is called of y minus 1. Or you can write it y minus 2 into y minus 1 into y minus 1. Because in this way, a square means what? a square means a into a. Or y, what is called of y minus 1, you can write it y minus 1 into y minus 1. Okay? So according to this, Exponent class, I will write here. Okay. So, step in this way, you can see we find the factorization of y into y square minus 2y plus 2 into 2y minus y square minus 2 plus y. This is clear. The factor of this algebraic expression is y minus 2 into y minus 1 into y minus 1. So this is clear. So student, I hope all of you understood this question. In this question, first we take comma and then rearrange them. After taking comma and rearranging, we get uh, y minus 2 as a comma and y star minus 2y plus 1. Okay. So this is a comma. Whole square of y minus 1. So whole square of y minus 1, you can write y minus 1 into y minus 1. 
so we will get the whole factorization of factorization of given algebraic expression is y minus 2 into y minus 1 into y minus 1 so student i hope all of you understood this question thank you for watching jai